Hello viewers, you're watching Cross Moda Channel. In this video, I will tell you about a very unusual and little known motorcycle. This is the DKV motorcycle, whose engine has four pistons in two cylinders moving towards each other. That is, this two-wheeled machine is equipped with an engine with opposed pistons, which is one type of opposed engine. Let's figure out this unusual design together. When it appeared, what it was like, and whether there were other motorcycles with a similar engine. Enjoy watching. Viewers who saw the recent Damp Craft Wagon History episode on my channel already know a bit about this motorcycle. However, I'll repeat myself anyway. The German company Damp Craft Wagen in the 1930s was very successful in racing technologies, specifically with their two-stroke supercharged engines. All these technologies were developed under the careful guidance of talented engineers August Priusing and Arnold Soler. It all started with combining the Gorelli layout with a piston compressor, and later the compressor became centrifugal. At a certain stage of all these developments, more precisely, around 1935-36, DKV engineers arrived at the layout of an opposed engine with pistons moving towards each other. A bit about this design Opposed piston engines were invented long ago at the dawn of internal combustion engines. One of the first opposed engines with two pistons in a cylinder was Atkinson's differential engine back in 1882. Already in 1898, a two-stroke Ohelko's engine with opposed pistons producing 600 horsepower was installed at the metallurgical plant in Cord. This engine design was also produced under license by manufacturers such as Deutsche Kraftgas Gesellschaft in Germany and William Birdmore Sons in the United Kingdom. The French company Gabron Briel was the first to install such an engine in a car. Moreover, it was not just a car, but a racing car that, for the first time in human history, broke the 100 miles per hour speed mark. The record was 166.665 kilometers per hour. A similar engine was also installed on the Scottish car Errol Johnston, which was presented at the Olympia Exhibition in 1905. This power unit has both advantages and disadvantages. Let's begin with the advantages. An engine with opposed pistons is somewhat simpler than other engines. By eliminating the cylinder head, this design has less heat loss and less friction loss. Also, this design creates a straight-through gas flow through the combustion chamber. The disadvantages of an opposed piston engine are its bulky design, since these two pistons in one cylinder need to be mechanically connected somehow. This means either two crankshafts or a complex setup with one crankshaft plus many connecting rods, crossheads, and mechanical transmissions. Because of their bulkiness, such opposed engines found use in heavy machinery and industrial applications. These engines can be found on ships, submarines, railway locomotives, and in some tanks. There are also a few known examples of their use in piston aviation, but in automotive and motorcycle engineering, this design did not become widespread due to its bulkiness and complexity. And now, imagine my excitement when I came across a wealth of information and visual material about a motorcycle with such an engine. It's like finding a gold nugget in a river silt. Returning to our story's hero, it's now 1936. DKV engineers designed a two-cylinder, four-piston, opposed two-stroke engine with liquid cooling and a centrifugal supercharger. The design turned out to be interesting and promising, and engine displacements of 250, 350, and 500 cc were planned. However, the project was shelved because DKV already had a progressive and proven engine design. The motorcycle he used to win world championships. The Second World War, starting in 1939, shifted DKV's focus to making motorcycles for the Wehrmacht, pausing their racing program until later. Still, some racing work quietly continued. In 1945, the DKV factory in Chopau fell under Soviet control. The Soviet administration learned about this development and considered it appropriate to complete the project. With the aim of further sending some equipment and documentation to the Serpukov Design Bureau, motorcycle engineering and the use of motorcycles in races and record runs. In 1945, 
a special design and technical bureau, Number 10 was established based on the facilities of Damf Craft Wagon, where leading engineers were gathered and tasked with building a motorcycle. Between 1946 and 1948, four 350 cc units and one 250 cc unit were produced. The power output was about 45 and 60 horsepower respectively. All this equipment was later sent to the Soviet Union, where it took part in races and competitions in the late 1940s and early 1950s. SKTB-10 was disbanded in 1948. In the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, this equipment was named Racing Compressor, one which stands for Racing Compressor. In Germany, after SKTB-10 was disbanded, the German racer Kurt Kiunke became interested in this design and hiring several Dampfkraft wagon engineers built a 250cc racing machine. According to other information, one of the engines that had been built was hidden from the Soviet administration and smuggled into West Germany. It is worth noting that in Kuhnke's design, the engine was mounted at an angle in the motorcycle, unlike the five units that were built for the Soviet Union. With the boxer's longitudinal layout, the DKV Kuhnke Sport 1 was ready in 1949, Kurt competed on this motorcycle in a number of races during 1950-1951, but he was plagued by a lot of bad luck and breakdowns. The engine generated too much heat, and it turned out that there were serious mistakes made during the casting of the cylinder block, which caused the liquid cooling system to function improperly. In 1946, the Motorcycle Federation banned the participation of supercharged motorcycles in races. The teachers don't really outperform the production naturally aspirated machines with superchargers. Racing continued only in Germany and the Soviet Union, but even in these countries, the era of supercharged motorcycles came to an end in the 1950s. Germany joined the FIM in 1951 and the Soviets in 1956. All these developments proved useless to everyone. After Kurt Kuhnke died in 1969, his KS-1 passed through several owners. In 1990, the motorcycle was restored. Later, it was taken to the classic tourist trophy on the Isle of Man. And today, it is part of the Audi Tradition Ingolstadt Museum Exhibition. KS, one specs, 45 horsepower. At 8,000 revolutions per minute weight, 145 kilograms maximum speed around 190 kilometers per hour. This is the story of the Dampfkraft Wagen motorcycle with opposed pistons in the engine. It's so interesting that an entire book has been written about the only surviving motorcycle. Did any other motorcycles have a similar engine design? In this photo, you can see a motorcycle from the German company Necker Solmer Strick Machine and Union, apparently with an engine featuring opposed pistons. Besides this photo and some speculation, there's nothing else. If I manage to find more information about this Necker Solmer Strick Machine Union, I will definitely make a story about it. As always, I'm with you. This was the Crossmoto channel. Thank you so much for your attention and also for your activity on my channel in the form of comments, shares, and subscriptions. Special thanks to everyone who supports my channel financially using the pinned details. See you next time.